Hey guys, MTG Girl here. Today I've got the game Patchwork to open up for you. This is a two-player game published by Mayfair Games. It's designed by UA Rosenberg. This is the designer that brought us um, Agricola, Caverna, um, La Havre, uh, I mean a bunch of really um, amazing games that I really enjoy playing. So my uh, husband and I, for our wedding anniversary every year, we try and pick up a two-player game. Something that we can play really well balanced, just the two of us, because a lot of our gaming ends up being uh, just two players. So let's take a look at the back here. This is going to be, we're going to be using a lot of spatial management. Um, we've got some currency going on with buttons, but it's only a two-player game. About a 30 minute game, so pretty quick. Um, we don't often have a whole lot of time to play. Usually it's like late at night after the kids have gone to bed. We're like, oh, we want to play a game, but we don't have a lot of time because we're exhausted. So this looks like a, it's going to be a really great game for us. Um, so even if it's been out for a year, I think it's still worth taking a look at. Ahead and crack it open here. Just slice the shrink. All right. It's a nice little box. Okay, so we've got a couple of wooden bits here. Pawn and two, looks like maybe score trackers. We've got our rule book. Super thin, just a three page fold out. Paper quality is pretty thin too, but all right, what do we have in here? Which are boards held together with a little packing paper. Okay. So looks like looks like here we've got our score track. Pretty. And then our bits to punch out and the two player boards. These are what we'll be building our quilts, our patchwork quilts, on these boards. So you've got to manage the space that you've got here. Alright, let's take a look and punch out all those little bits. These are pretty basic little wooden little wooden bits. Nice and thick though. These are where we're going to be keeping track of our score with. And we have this neutral marker as well that will be used um, around the board where we have our patches laid out. So that's pretty nice. They come in a little baggie. Um, but no other baggies. <laughs> there is. That's, I think that's pretty typical of Mayfair. Um, so you're going to have to find an, another way to organize this because there's a lot of, I maybe mean, most of the game here are just, is just these, these boards. Oh, we have our score tracker there. Okay. So let's punch these out. Um, so the different things we have here are, we've got our buttons, which are like our currency. So your patches are going to cost you buttons. They're also going to earn you buttons. They're also going to cost you time. So we're going to be trying to build the best quilt, the prettiest quilt, um, on your little 9x9 nine nine boards. And then we also have these little special patches here, which are leather patches that are going to go on the score track. So the cardboard is pretty uh, standard thickness. Um, the finish is not got the nice uh, the nice linen finish here. So nice quality pieces here. So let's get punching these out. Let's start with the buttons. They seem to be just kind of scattered around the different boards fit to fit where they can. And that's fine. No sense. You know, there's a lot of <laughs> extra space here, so no sense spending a whole board on just buttons. These little buttons. 
cute. Right, and we've got the patches. So despite these being all awkward and weird sizes, um, they're coming out really nice and cleanly. So this is going to be pretty, pretty easy to get through. So that's all the punching. Um, this game is definitely going to need some baggies. This is kind of a mess because um, the game is pretty much just a bunch of bits and I, just having this all loose rattling around in your box is going to be really annoying for setup to separate all of that out. So definitely get a hold of some extra little baggies and, and uh, <laughs> you know, organize your game up that way. All right, so I went ahead and grabbed my own baggie of bags. I mean, who doesn't have, like, the bag that they've just collected all the extra baggies with? Um, after you've got enough games, you kind of create this collection. So let's see, that looks like a good size. And let's see, something for all those buttons. Uh, let's see, maybe that one will work. Might be a little small. Let's try it. Let's give it a try. generous size bag that'll allow for a little bit extra uh, space so we can fit it in there nicely. There we go. And the rule of bagging up chits, there's always a couple you forget. There we go. So don't ever seal up your <laughs> baggies until you get everything in there. Alright, and then these little leather patches, they're they're, they go in a different place, so I'm going to keep them separate as well. Like I think they'll fit just right in here. Ah! Runaway patches. Alright. So that all fits really nicely in the, in the box here. So let's go ahead and look at how maybe these boards will get set up. So let's take a little quilting board. Now this is our time track, and it's double-sided, but the only difference is aesthetic, so you get to pick which one you like better. I think I think I like this one better. It's got a little more of a at-home, comfortable, like I feel like I just snuggle up to that, to that quilt there. So I like that side better. I don't know. I guess everyone's got their own opinion, and then these two boards, that's just the same on every side. So let's just see what some of these pieces would look like when we've put them down. Some of the different patches, like they've the texture you know, in the image really makes you feel like it's a different, you can really f get a feeling of how that, what that fabric would feel like. And they just fit down on the little board. We're going to be playing a little bit of uh, Tetris here. But it fits nice and tightly too. I guess that might fit there. I have a feeling I'm going to have a good advantage when we play this game. Whenever it comes to like packing for a trip, I'm the one that get, I'm the one that can get everything in our suitcases. God, we'll just put it right there. And obviously, this is nothing like how gameplay is going to be, but uh, you know, you get to choose your patches depending on where that token, that neutral token is. So I've created a very specific space here. And I don't know if I'm going to find something that's going to 
specifically go there, so I might have some wasted space. Let's see, like this little guy, that's pretty darn close. I'm going to have a gap there, though. Two bits. Those are going to be really useful. Oh, there's also that long piece here. Just fit right there. I need another one like that. Hmm. Well, anyway, that's starting to look pretty. I, I like the, the aesthetic of this game is really, really quite comforting. <laughs> You know, it uh, reminds me of, you know, going to Grandma's house, or just really uh, sweet little theme. I love buttons. I mean, real buttons are so much fun. I mean, everyone's everyone's got that relative, whether it's like a grandma or a mom who had like a jar of buttons. So, there we go. We get to play with our buttons and little scraps of fabric. Really cute little game. Uh, I think this one's going to be a real hit in my house. So uh, thanks for watching my video. If you liked it then let me know with a little thumbs up. Love seeing those. And go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you like. Uh, I unbox board games as I acquire them, talk about them a little bit, and you get to see what's inside the box. So thanks for watching. Bye!